Yet, good morning, and you are welcome to the discussion segment on nationalism and you. We are still on that, your flagship program, this morning on ITV, and you certainly know ITV is the best. Ebenezer Oyetaki, your host. This morning, we're taking a crucial look at an issue of contentions over APC national conventions, the issues. With me to take a look at this issue this morning, a capable gentleman. To my far right, we are having comrade Yahaya Wada, a social political analyst and a national coordinator, APC Youth Solidarity Forum. Comrade Yahaya, you are welcome. And in the culture of this program, we say to you, nationalism and you. I think it is equivalent on me to contribute my quota to the progress and development of this country. Very well. You're welcome to our studio. And uh, to my immediate right is a political juggernaut, a former publicity secretary of the legacy, one of the legacy party that formed APC, ANPP. He is Al Haji Ibrahim Modibo. Al Haji Ibrahim Modibo, nationalism and you. It is my desire to be a patriot, patriotic in the cause of sustainable national development. So I move. You must welcome. Thank you. Now you know. APC as the party in power. When you agitate your parties, you are not only agitating your party's people, you are agitating the whole nation because you are the governing party. The convention that is coming, we are hearing there are two factions. Some say we will proceed with the convention. Some say well, uh, uh, we are going to hold two parallel conventions and the rest of it. Is APC suffering from internal democracy crisis i am to you okay thank you very much uh high chief ebenezer yatokun one of our foremost political aristocrats a man that i respect so much within the polity of I this country. I am simply a Benizao attacking rider. <laughs> We've been in the trenches for a very long time, and uh, we knew the struggles that we have undergone up to this point in time. Well, for inviting me this morning, and uh, my comrade of the Youth Vanguard of uh, the APC to discuss this fundamental issue is uh, it's a very welcome development. APC as a political party, as you know, it is not in any way in cul-de-sac. But like any other political party, APC is not a mosque or a church where you just go, sit down with just a pastor or imam, and there is nobody that will raise any voice except if there is chorus. It is a political party. And as a political party, it is expedient. It is also expected that there will be some rancorous problems here and there. But the ability to have entire democracy the ability to have internal mechanism for conflict resolution, it is very fundamental. That is why today we have problems here and there, but these problems are not problems that are insurmountable. We strongly believe that with the leadership of uh, His Excellency Mayor Malabuni to this party, we are very confident and we expect that we will come and have a very wonderful convention but you see, to have a convention, as I've stated, we must be able to organize ourselves. As it is today, there are problems here and there, especially in states, especially when it comes to issue of congresses at the local state, I mean at the world, local, and then states. We're having problem challenges here and there, which is very normal. In any political party, there is zeros. A political party that you know the people are really after. A political party as dominant as APC, which is a leader, which leads this country as it is today, it is a hot kick. It's something that is expected that people will come and have problems because everybody wants to be with the winner. And this is the party that wins. 
So therefore, we are expecting that with time, the conflict resolution mechanism under Mayim Alabuni, as composed by or headed by the former governor of uh, Nasarawa, Abdullah Adamu, they are working around the clock. They are going around most of the states that were having problems here and there to see how we'll be able to, you know, knit in the board, knit in the board some of these problems confronting the party, especially the issues that are arising from um, uh, uh, these congresses, which is of paramount importance. And let me tell you, we cannot go into the convention without actually putting our houses in order. We must put this house in order. We must make sure that we move as a team because I'm sure that by the way, the way things are moving today, you can see the way that uh, this party is so vibrant. This party has so far recorded so many presidential candidates. That is to tell you that this is a party to beat. I do not believe that APDP has any challenge to uh, APC as it is today or any other small, some of the um, small political parties. Comrade Yahaya, yes, sir. is it a problem? If it is not a problem of lack of internal democracy, is it a problem of lack of our inability to manage success? Good morning, sir. Morning. I think I'm happy to be here, most especially to stand sit side by side with my boss, a mentor, a person I respect so much. Thank you. And uh, my so much gratitude to you, Mr. Ebenezer, for bringing me to this table today. Um, for any political party, especially a winning political party, a political party that is acceptable to, to the populace, you should expect of conflict. It's not about inability of the party to, or the party leadership manage to manage sources. Yeah. I think that is, not, that is not true. What is happening is expected. When you have a political party, of the size of this APC, the way it is now. You see so many people running into the party. Last year, I think we had about two, two governors, the country governor of a Boeing state and governor of um, Cross River state, joining the party. Just ye yesterday, all and, Zafara. and Zafara state, yeah. three governors, yeah. and so many other people. There, was, there is this particular man who has been uh, a serious critic, who has been criticizing this political party for a long time, uh, Mr. Femi Fani Kayode. As we are talking now, it's one of those routine for this party. So that shows that people have seen the kind of uh, um, successes and the kind of um, what they believe this party will achieve. That's why the people are running into it. And when people come into a political party, what you expect from them is their interest. Just like Machiavelli said, the constant thing in life, I mean, the constant, there's no cost, the constant thing in life is change. And what is permanent, as far as politics is concerned, is interest. So people, in, in order for them to pursue their interest, there is bound to, they are bound to be conflict. Yes. But the ability of the political party to resolve that conflict, that is what should be important to us. That if you look at one definition of politics, politics is defined as a conflict and the resolution of conflict. So what we are expecting from our leaders, just like my boss has just said, you can see that the leadership of of the party, other the able leadership of Memala Boni, has put in place the mechanism needed to sanitize the party. The former governor of Nasarawa State, a few days back, was in Lagos State, was in the Southwest, meeting the, the party stakeholders, trying to get their grievances. At the end of the day, we'll come back to the round table and ensure that every interest will be protected, will be, people will be carried. And those, uh, Modigo, and those grievances, those multifaceted grievances as reported yesterday when they, when they were su supposing that uh, they might postpone the convention away from uh, uh, February or whether it will still hold in February, that the, the multifaceted uh, crises and contentions that arose from Congress, so, uh, what do you call this? Um, from congresses. From congresses, congresses you know. Yeah. Congresses at what level, at local, local government level and at state level and things of that nature. Are those crises not preponderantly avoidable if we organize those congresses the way it ought to be organized transparently? You see, I completely subscribe to 
my comrade here for most of the points, fundamental issues raised. They are very germane. You see, the issue of Congresses, as I've stated, this is a political party that defines the polity of Nigeria. It's a political party in power. And therefore, the issue of interest is very paramount. As Comrade has uh, stated, people come into political party because they're not expecting the world in heaven. No, they are expecting here in, uh, in, 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 uh, in the world as we are living. And therefore, the issue of interest is of fundamental importance. And in as much as we have a political party that is vibrant, a political party that is not dead, a political party you know, that dances to the tune, the rhythm, and also the vibrancy of a normal political party in a normal democratic setup, such as ours. There must be conflicts, there must be problems, there must be interests. And these interests are what becomes a major challenge. As I've told you, I have been in this party for a very long time, and I know the working mechanisms of this party. Whatever is the differences, we have the well without the interim because of conflict resolution. I can assure you that with time we'll be able to resolve all these things. It's all about interest. Therefore, people should expect that you know APC will be God willing, maybe in the next twenty, thirty years will still be in power. <laughs> so we are looking forward to a vibrant polity going into twenty twenty three. To defeat all these parties, especially the noisemakers, I don't want to mention their names, but I have the complete assurance of feeling that APC still presents the best Let tradition. Get to, yeah, yeah. The best tradition of politi politicians in, in the land. That's right. Yeah. Do you know that? Are you aware that crisis in APC, preponderant crisis in APC? infringes on the peace of Nigeria being a, 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 a party in, in power and that if such crises are not effectively resolved, which is the concern of Nigerians, the reason we are discussing this on the platform of nationalism and you, if these crises are not effectively reconciled and, 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 and resolved, if you proceed into national or general elections with it, it can spiraled into what you call it electoral violence. For this purpose, what is your confidence that we will get it resolved? Yes, sir. Just like I said earlier, I said um, the party in power, especially our own political party now, APC, has all it takes to bring sanity to itself. That was the major reason why that um, the Ablai and the led committee was set up in the first place. And I want to make it categorically clear now that um, the internal party conflict within APC has not in any way affected the policies of the government. Let's say, for example, we had of um, which we we still have empower uh, institutional investment programs, some other programs that were brought up by. We are not, we are not saying about uh, the policy and the rest of it. We are saying and wrote to 2023. If this, if we have a carryover of multifaceted, uh, what you call it, discontentment in the system from a ruling political party, it can infringe on the peace of the nation. Yes, we have experienced that I, before, I either under PDP or U.S. It is natural, just like I said, it is, it is natural that a party in power, not even only the party in power, even in, PC, the, in PDP, they had their own problem. Before their convention, I think it was called that even removed uh, who she second use. Of course, of that, course, of course. Yes, but as, but as we are talking now, something of source is no longer going on. Within APC, before the general election, APC has a, just like I said, has a mechanism to come back to it. You see that at the end of the day, all interests will be protected and before the election, you all this problem will be solved. You speak, you speak, you speak with, uh, with, with, with almost certainty, but let me quickly remind you that, let me quickly remind you that in Zamfara State that we are now referring to, yes, if the PDP governor there, the PDP 
that harvest all the positions you won and the rest of it due to the crisis, the protracted crisis that you could not resolve. At the state level, if you maintain that kind of a crisis in, uh, at the national level without resolving it, don't you think Israel can repeat itself? From what is going on, yes. I told you earlier that the present leadership, the, the present leadership of APC, ably led by the Memala Buni, with what is going on now, we believe all this problem will be resolved. We don't even expect that this thing will, will linger on. Thank you very much. Let me return to Ahaji Modibu. Ahaji Modibu. Yeah. Mm. How long should an interim regime stay in power? How long? Nigerians are getting concerned that when the Ahaji or uh, Governor Boni as an interim regime of APC came on board six months eight months one year as an interim regime should have been able to round up whatever you want to do and at that particular period he was so glorious people saw him as achieving so much and the rest of it but i don't think it is remaining the same as of now because he is almost making a use of a whole lifetime of an executive that is authentically elected rather than an interim and i think this is one of the reasons the system has been overheated up your take on this i am speaking the voice of nigerians you see before the coming of uh, the man malabuni caretaker committee you know as you know leading the executive or uh, of the party things were moving from sublime to ridiculous where mediocrity and iniquity ruled but as he came, he has been able to marshal out some fundamental issues affecting the party that led to the glory, not only in some of these elections, but also in bringing a lot of people. Like Comrade Ratliff stated, about three governors came in. So many senators, House of Rose members, local government chairman, not to mention, you know, other this, at the grassroots. People have been coming in droves into our party. He has been able to steer this party with philosophical calmness. And he did it with utmost sense of responsibility. I agree with you that it would have been wonderful if somebody would have allowed or would have left when the ovation was loudest. And I strongly believe that as of now, Mohamala Buni's ovation is really very loud and maybe it has even reached his peak as loudest. It is time for him now to consolidate, it is time for him now to make arrangements to see to the coming in of a democratically elected executive of the party to run the party towards 2023. He has done very well. He has been able to put this party in order, especially the Kata Committee. They've done exceedingly well. And honestly, I also strongly believe, because for me, I'm even interested in contesting. But I will not stampede my Malabuni to leave maybe at the early six months when he was given because we've seen progress that has been able to get. But now that he has been able to achieve so much, I think the overture is loudest and I think there's need to set up a machinery in action to see that we have a formidable party structure that could steer, you know, the political process of this party to the El Dorado. I want to believe that all this uh, shifting and shifting and shifting has been able to come up because there have been you know problems here and there, especially the congresses that we had the congresses we had at the world state and i mean at the world local government and state levels have been able to bring up a lot of things because of the interest as congress has stated it is all about interest and therefore we must be able to put this our uh, house in order APC must be able to put the house in order so that it brings all the contending forces. Because as we stated, the ability to come up on board, to see to the aggregation of opinion, and to see how we could be able to put two and two together, to give us four rather than six, we must sit down on our differences and approach 2023 with the best or the greatest optimism. Otherwise, if we fail to do it, I foresee a lot of political problems, of which God forbid, APC, knowing the entire democratic structure it has, it has had, honestly, I have the greatest optimism, just like Omar has stated, 
that within a very short time we'll be able to overcome all these things and i also want to appeal to mr president as the leader of the party he should not fold his arm akimbo and just look at the party like that he is the father of this party whether anybody likes it or not he is a leader national leader of this party and therefore if your children are fighting or if your children are having problems fundamental issues the ability of you as a father to bring them together sit them down look listen to this one listen to this one and then let us have you know a consensus opinion i think mr president has the capacity he has a phenomenal capacity and history will be called on him to make sure that he brings all the contending forces to make sure that he brings this party to order to make sure that he prepares this party because he said he's only going to stay a day after mid, uh, 2023 and therefore for somebody that will come in he must be interested in this party as a president he must be interested in a party that brought you to power we still struggle uh, and, and i we struggle in since apc days we will be there we struggle to make sure that president Muhammad Wari, you know came on board but for three four times we've been able we've, we've, uh, we've been cheated not that we even uh, lost but will be cheated uh, democratically. Now that he's here, he must be interested in this party. He should make sure that, you know, he crosses the T's and dot the I's so as to bring us all together, all the contending forces, to move as a team. Because if you look at a broom, a single broom cannot sweep a room. But if you have it in bunch, just like the symbol of APC, uh -huh. it is the one that will sweep you across the Nigeria. Ridings of the platform of where I love the way you said it, when you take it to the table of the president, because uh, the president have a role to play to stabilize the party that brought him to power, yes. the instrument of governance that brought him to power. But having said that, riding away from there, I come to you, Yahaya, come read Yahaya. Now let us take it this way. Many people think that the reasons why the Boni, Boni interim regime keep on moving from one month to another, six months to eight months to one year, going to two years and that kind of a thing, almost wanting to spend a, a lifetime of an executive that is elected, is because the governors are manipulating the political party, the APC system, because himself is a governor in the contentions and reshuffling of interest, political interest. Your take on this? Um, to a larger extent, I think that is a fact, to a larger extent. Um, though there's no doubt in the fact that he has done very well for the party. He has done very well. But this issue of interest, whether we like it or not, will always come, come up. So as a politician himself, he has his own interest. So that is a fact. But just like my boss here has just said, uh, we have uh, the national leader of the party, who is the president of the country. Irrespective of whatever interest any of these people may have, um, the governors are very strong. There's no doubt about that. We are all aware of that. Sure. Uh, from 1990 to this moment, uh, they have been trying. In fact, they have been in charge. Once it comes to political, political decision, they are always at the forefront, and they always have uh, had their way except under this present government where in some cases they've not been able to get their ways but from what is happening now we got, we want president muhammad buhari who is our father who is the leader of the party he came he won he won his election in 2015 on the platform of apc so we expect him now to call all the interest all the interested uh, parties all those um fighting for their individual uh, interest you should just call them to the table i'm telling you believe me that if all these people especially the party the governors and other stakeholders if they appear before the president and the president decide to, to tell them this is what i want this is the way i want the party to go i don't want this this conflict to continue let the interest of every members be considered what that is done at the end of the day i'm telling you that all this problem will be resolved what we are just waiting for now, we want the president to just take that position, being, being as the father, as the leader of the party. He shouldn't just be watching them. No, we, we know the president to be the type of person that doesn't always want to interfere with the affair of some of these, these things. That has been his, uh, uh, his policies. In fact, that has been part of him. So he gives you the opportunity to do 
what you believe is good for the for the party or for whatever organization you are heading. But in this case, we are heading into an election which is very crucial to the country. 2023 general election. We want him to come in now. We want him to to be decisive. That's what we expect from from him now. He should not allow this problem to continue. And as for the caretaker committee, just like my boss has said, the Malabuni has done well. And as we speak, the ovation is loudest at the moment. So the best thing for him to do now is to ensure that transition um, takes place. Let the convention come into pass. That's what we expect from him to do. It shouldn't, this thing should not continue. Sure. Yesterday, when we were going through the social media, we saw um, a news that uh, the APC National uh, uh, Critical Committee has postponed uh, the convention indefinitely. But after some uh, few, you know there is no smoke before f yes, uh, without after, fire. After some few hours, we saw a kind of uh, uh, the, a retraction. Uh, a retraction that there was nothing like that. So what we expect him to do, let him ensure that that February is sacrosanct. Let that convention takes place. You know, when we are discussing this, Alhaji Moribuna, why we are discussing this this morning, it's not because it is APC, or it is going to be PDP tomorrow, and things of that nature. It is because of the national interest, nationalism, and you. you. And you see, in the continent of Africa today, we are experiencing a democratic reversal in some certain things, places, like Mali, like Guinea Conakry, like Sudan, and we don't know the one that is... And whatever, what, what, what is usually leading to this kind of democratic, the, uh, what you call it, reversals, is because of irreconcilable, selfish interest of political actors. When it is not effectively managed. And you can see, even the president, Mohamed Buhari GCF Aru, who is the authentic leader of the APC, and the president of the country, he cannot afford to stay aloof from whatever crisis is happening in his political party that brought him to power because he is not staying aloof over Mali. He is not staying aloof over Guinea Conakry, where democracy, the tree of democracy, has been shot down and things of that nature. So, Nigeria as the giant of Africa. We will want to see a nation that continues to maintain her democratic credential. That is why we are discussing this. So, how confident are we that we can re resolve this? Because just like you rightly said, it has gotten to the to the to the that particular echelon where it is beckoning on the presidential intervention. How sure are you that the president will intervene, and how soon? You see. For some of our interests, for some people with vested interests that do not want to compromise or do not want to give and take, I've always warned, I've always stated that those that live in glass houses should not be throwing stones. But if you are so reckless to be throwing stones anywhere without minding where it lands, it becomes a problem. A problem in the sense that as we have this political party today, and as we are talking about truncation of democracy in some of these countries, in Nigeria, I think we've come to stay as a democratic na nation where today, the world over, the issue of military intervention is an all style. It's not in sync and in tune with, uh, with uh, the global participation in terms of democracy. People are interested in democracy. And all these small countries, some of these countries that are having problems here and there, there are people that are no more than one local government or two in this country. So, <laughs> those ones, we might not take them uh, this way. But for a nation like Nigeria, and for a political party, there is a need for us to come together. The more the merrier. Ponte is all about people. Ponte is all about meeting the yearning aspiration of people. Trying to give people dividends of democracy. As it is today, most of our governors, they are shining examples of what democracy entails. They've been doing very well in their states. Go to Kaduna, see what Erova has been doing in Kaduna. Go to uh, uh, Abia, or I mean, um, Ebony. Go and see what Dave Omai has done in that, can, that state. 
So, and so is it good for rock? In spite of all the troubles with uh, banditry and whatever, go and see the Zulu magic. So you will find out that most of the governors of APC are taught bearers and people that have been productive, people that have been, you know, meeting the yearning aspiration of the common man. Now, must we allow a party that has been able to bring people like this up to have fundamental problems such as this? You see, the problem of interest and the problem of People not allowing or giving to take is what cost us real estate, what cost us Zamfara at the point where the whole political structure moved to PDP, but thank God it has come back to APC. <laughs> so if we are not careful, if we are not careful moving towards 2023 without bringing all the contending forces, without agreeing, we must disagree to agree. So in the process of deciding to agree, we are trying to set standard in terms of democratic culture where we have internal mechanism of conflict resolution. And I can tell you, Chief Ebenezer, that APC as a political party, as I've stated, let me reiterate again for the nth time, that it is a political party with internal mechanism. And I still want to insist, internal mechanism is very paramount. And I want as I've stated, to appeal again to Mr. President, he should not allow this party to scatter. After being elected as a president, he has been there for two terms, he should make sure yes, that yes, the party so, survives. Survives, yes. Assume, assuming without necessarily content, I mean, assuming without necessarily uh, uh, conceding to the fact that some of the political parties before, they were doing politics of do or die. Mr. President is not in any way interested in capturing mm -hmm. because what we had before under PDP was the election and the right under trees. They will sit under under trees. The service of the tenant democracy and the unification for Nigerian political stability. Now, now, you know, peace is a prerequisite for political stability and sustainable national development. And that is one of the reasons why we're discussing this. That being that, that being that, what would be your last advice, both to your political party and their leadership? Because as a nation right now, you see we are contending with multifaceted security challenges. And most of these security challenges cannot be divorced from political discontents of the past. So your last message. I think, um my advice to our party leaders will be that uh, first, let me take you to the pres to the side of the president. Um, our president will have it in mind that uh, for a long time we stood for him um, while he was losing. Sometimes while he was being manipulated out. Mm. Sure until 2015 when God says that was the time and Nigerians we stood for him and he was elected 2019 we re-elected him he's there today all the good things all the good policies programs that he had that's initiated which are all ongoing at the moment we, we don't want them to be put aside we want them to be a continuous something and for that reason we want him to stand firm with his party. Let him come out open. Let him ensure that all the crises within the party is set. And resolved and there is so, discipline in yes, the party. Thank you very much. Your last word. Well, my last word is an appeal. I want to appeal to the conscience of the Mayamala Buni Kiatago Committee that time has come. He has done his best and we commend him for doing a very fantastic job Towards the builder of this party. We've seen how my Mbaga Buli has been able to make an input to this party. Well, if I'm to write it, I could say that my Mala has done more than maybe what Napoleon the Great has done in uh, Europe in, time, in trying to, you know, aggregate and also put this party in proper perspective. He has done his best and now the ovation is loudest. Let the Kiatika Committee under my Mala and Senator Akwa Odo Odo let them sit down 
allow the democratic process to flourish. Let them put a timetable. Because by putting a timetable, by bringing committees, it will set the tone of in motion that this convention is going to hold. But by, you know, trying to uh, maybe allow things just to remain calm, people are having anxiety and people want to see the progress of this party via the convention, which will usher in... And our anxiety is not good for this system. Yes. Thank you very uh, much, yes. both of you, for being our guests today and you have done justice to this topic. And this is how we draw cutting on the contention over APC national conventions. And we are appealing to APC as the ruling party. Please help us to give a pervading peace to Nigeria by reconciling all your superficial and artificial peculiarities and differences. I remain Ebenezer Oye, taking your host, but don't change the channel because we are transiting into the second segment of the discourse this morning, which will border on the issue of the Nigerian economy. <laughs>